Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the common service berry. Common service berry, Amelanchier arborea, is a small deciduous tree of the rose family. The woodland tree is one of the first to flower in early spring, beaten only by witch hazel. These early flowers are important for pollinators, and since it blooms so early in the spring, it's especially showy because most other plants are bare. Other common names include downy service berry, juneberry, shadbush, and sarvis tree. Common service berry is the largest of the service berries native to Kentucky. It grows between 10 and 40 feet tall. It is a common small understory tree of our forest. It is native to the Midwestern and Eastern United States and grows on a variety of sites in moist, well-drained soils. Common service berry prefers partial shade but also does well in full sunlight. Common service berry flowers are fragrant and bloom in very early spring. They are perfect, meaning they have both male and female reproductive structures. They are showy with five strap-like white petals. The flowers occur in drooping bunches, and the flowers are pollinated by bees, beetles, and other insects. The leaves are deciduous and alternately arranged on the twig, as you can see in the photo. The leaf form is simple, meaning there is only one blade. The oval or egg-shaped leaves are about one and a half to three inches long. They are pinnately veined, meaning there is a dominant center vein or midrib with other veins branching off from the middle towards the edge of the leaf. The leaf margins are finely serrated and the leaves are somewhat downy on the underside, especially when young. The fall color is eye-catching and ranges from gold to orange to red to purple, just another reason this tree is quite commonly used in landscape plantings. The fruit is a berry like palm. A palm is a fleshy fruit, such as an apple or a pear, that has an outer thickened fleshy layer and a central core with seeds enclosed in a capsule. The fruit ripens to deep red or to purple. It typically ripens in late spring to early summer, which is where it gets one of its common names from, the June berry. The fruit is edible and the seeds are dispersed by wildlife. Common service berry is a wildlife favorite, with more than 40 species of birds consuming the fruit, including the cedar waxwing, as you can see in the photo that's feasting on service berries. The eastern towhee and the Baltimore oriole are also big fans of, of service berry fruit. Almost as many mammals eat the fruit, including chipmunks, fox, black bear, and elk. The bark is smooth and ashy gray when the tree is young, occasionally with darker stripes. As the tree grows, the bark becomes rough with long vertical splits. The wood of the surface berry is among the heaviest in the U.S. and would be more valuable if the trees grew larger. Where it does grow large enough, it is used for pulp wood. The wood has been used for tool handles and decorative wood objects. Service berries have long been used to make jams and pies. Many say they taste like a mashup of blueberries and strawberries, while others claim more of a mix of blueberries and cherries. If you get a, a chance to taste a service berry, you can decide for yourself. Well, that's if you can get to them before the birds. The national champion common service berry is in Pocahontas, West Virginia. It's 102 inches in circumference, 40 feet tall, with a 56-foot crown spread. That is a beautiful tree. Kentucky's champion common service berry is in McCreary County. It's 62 inches in circumference, 56 feet tall, with a 35-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, go to the American Forest Champion Tree National Register or to the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about service berry. Service berry was named for its ability to bloom as soon as the ground thawed, so burials and funeral services could be held for those who had passed away during the winter. The name shadbush, another common name for this tree, is derived from folklore correlating the flowering of the tree species with the running of the shad in the rivers. Native Americans used the heavy wood to make arrow shafts and bow staves. I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about the common service berry, truly a tree for all seasons. I hope you get an opportunity to get out in your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the splendors of the service berry.